Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever. Yes it is. Uh, what are we doing? So, uh, we're following the, uh, the, the newly introduced Cable Walk Express, which is carrying a grand total of three potential 110 passengers. Right. These things take a little time to bed in. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that, uh, that it will get there sooner rather than later, uh, in terms of... Uh, and we're, we're actually starting to, to build up to the point now where we've got a, a goodly number of different services in operation, and uh, and that's kind of fun. So this is a uh, kind of the, the starting point, I guess, or maybe the, the second starting point for, uh, for for Woking becoming the centre of the known universe. Uh, and uh, Woking, I've, I've selected largely because it's the um, uh, it's the centermost town on the map. Uh, so yeah, so so hopefully over time this would this station here will become the most active there is. You should be able to sit here for hours on end and happily just watch stuff coming and going, which is all fun. Uh, I look forward to that being the case. Let's see how many it picks up here this time around. Uh, so, we've got a little bit of tidying up to do today, um, based on uh, suggestions that have been received via comments on other videos. Thank you for throwing those in. If you if you spot something at any point, do uh, do leave a message and I'll, I'll get to it when I uh, next record some episodes. Uh, I don't tend to do uh, recording every day, I tend to record in batches, as, uh, as regulars will know. So, sometimes it takes a little while before I, uh, I'll get to your suggestions and make them a reality. Okay, so that's off and running, smashing. Um, the other, the other train that I've got open at the moment is train seven, which is uh, our our goods train, uh, because it is in need of a new locomotive. This one is exhausted. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's past its sell-by date, and as such, is costing us the earth to uh, to keep running. So uh, let's do that, shall we? So here we go. Where are, which one are we running? With the, you're our goods train. Wow, you can, you can tell it's been a while since I've looked at this one, actually. What, uh, you're on Haver, Tukes Haver Steel. Okay, right, so Tukes Haver Steel. No, 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 you're calling it the wrong thing. Uh, railroad. Tukes Haver Steel, yes, you. Uh, vehicle replacement. Uh, let's set... So the, the, the nice diesel that we've been running is uh, is no longer a factor. Here's the, the full selection, as I'm sure you can remember. Um, we do like the 6.6. Six. We are we are fans of the 6.6. Six. Let's take it. Right, there we go. Add. There you go. Uh, make it replace automatically. So that should switch up as soon as it gets into its uh, into its next station. Wrong button. You don't want to press that button. Presumably this will swap over as soon as it gets into the next station since it is on the Um yeah, I think long term we're going to uh, we're going to do some more work in this area. Uh, there's been a couple of observations about this particular section of track that we're using. Uh, in that we're possibly costing ourselves money we don't need to be spending. Or rather we're we're harming our, our profit opportunities by having this uh, this track occur. Whereas it should be Who knows? Uh, I don't. You know, this this bridge caused me all manner of pains, um, as I'm sure I'm sure you can recall. So, so that's another thing that's to do. Right? But I don't want to do that today. Uh, let's just, let's just, let's just get this into the station and see if it actually works. It's not. I am 99% certain we're electrified all the way, so that should be But we'll find out very quickly. switch up locomotive switch up or locomotive evaporation where did he go ah hello there's a there goes a train doesn't appear to have any wagons hello you are behaving very strangely maybe those wagons were obsolete 
Or maybe it's got to go to the next station. I've never watched this uh, this happen. Uh, th this is the first train I've set to uh, to actually auto replace. So let's see what happens when it gets there. Because if this if this doesn't add some wagons, then uh, you're going to the depot, my friend. To the depot with you. Unable to find a path. Well, that's problematic. You'll have to do it when you get to the station. Just as well, I decided to uh, to stay tuned. Huh. Once you get into here, there we go. Now, go a depot. You can look, you can go around here. There we are. Splendid. Right. <coughs> he, needs some, he needs some wagons adding, otherwise, he's not going to do me any good at all. Choices? No. Alright, uh, one. 26. Uh, let's put four on there. That's like 52. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Uh, set line back onto the Duke's Haver Steel. Off you trot. Could have possibly put a fifth wagon on there, but it does add to the running costs of the thing, and frankly, we haven't been supplying goods in, in, that, in the amount of volume that would make that work. But he will run a little faster than before, so who knows? Maybe the increased frequency of, of pickup will uh, will yield a uh, greater supply of goods in the first place. You never know. There is definitely a causal chain going on between uh, between goods being uh, picked up and delivered and the amount of raw resources that are required. So uh, we'll see. What are you carrying? Can I click you? There we go. Nine. Yeah. See, it's barely barely worth it. What have we got waiting here? certainly looks like more than nine wanting to go the other way. Are you going to give me any kind of a clue? There we go, 26. 26 waiting to go the other way. Okay, cool. Right, uh, that's that taken care of. Let's have a, let's have a quick tour around the place. Loving it. Loving it. Lots of lots of goodness happening in Haverhill. Uh, Bexhill and Bromsgrove have been our kind of money makers in terms of just sheer volume of passengers but frankly we're we're raking it in uh, we've got 30 million in the bank everything's good uh, if we look at our, our you know our individual lines here um, the, the the slow char actually I'll, I'll go and have a look at that in a sec because I've got a job to do there but uh, between the Riptor and the Tukes Bex uh, the, the two commuter routes there you know that's bringing in six million a year get in um, uh, goods still a nightmare. Let's not worry about that. I'm, I'm just optimistic that it is actually fueling um, uh, expansion of those two towns to, to, to help us out of the long term. So let's have a look at our, uh, our kind of overall financial picture here. Uh, five million a couple of years ago. That's that's pretty respectable, isn't it? Uh, two, well, 1.4 million last year, but we did buy a new train. Um, that's you know never cheap. Um, yeah, quite pleased. Pretty, pretty happy. Pretty happy overall. Uh, and with all this money, it allows us to do just all manner of good stuff. Uh, so I want to go have a look at our tier B, whose location momentarily eludes me. It's over on the other coast. That's my coast. Uh, here we go. So Barrow up to Chard. No, Chard up to Slough. All stations in between. Right, what have we got going on? So it's the uh, it's the slow char commuter. Now, an observation uh, I believe by mildly amusing was that if I high speed rail the uh, the stations, it may aid in the quest for a bit more speed because it uh, it gives that uh, the the train running on there the ability to to really rip it in terms of uh, of, of acceleration. Uh, I can see the logic in that, uh, so uh, you know, let's do it. Yeah, sure. Let's just do it three times in a row, just to be on the safe side. 
Now, I'm not convinced it's going to make a massive amount of difference, but, you know, uh, I couldn't say for certain that it wasn't going to make a massive amount of difference, so I'm doing it. There we go. Right. Now, as before, it's, never, it's not going to hit top speed going up there because it stops at Barrow on the way. Uh, but coming back... The, uh, those two stations now being fully uh, fully high speed electrified uh, might make all the difference. So let's uh, let's follow this Japanese journey. 83 passengers. That's pretty respectable. So yeah, I mean we're still not quite to the point where this is uh, where this is profitable yet. It's I mean it's close. It's close to being. Profitable. It is, a, it is a hell of a train. I mean, if we ever manage to get it to carry 256 passengers, it is just going to be making money like there's no tomorrow. Uh, and uh, as such, I look forward to this. Let's see how we do here. Uh, let's, uh, let's go rapid fire to get us up to the station to start our potential record-breaking run. So standard line will handle 120 kilometers an hour, I think. I think so. um, and, and as such, it should only be a factor if this train was going to get over 120 before leaving the platform, or on the way in to the opposite side. So here we go, we're leaving now, and the tail end left while we were doing 75. So, does that prove anything? Well, the previous top speed was 224. So we are, you know, paying uh, paying complete attention to our uh, our speedometer here. And certainly wants it. Certainly hungry for a for a new land speed record. Here we go. Two twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Ah, two twenty six. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit faster. Not, not enough for me to, uh, to to claim that that's the uh, the route to victory, but it's a little bit faster. Therefore, that's the thing that that happened. Uh, cool. Right. On to more practical subjects. Uh, I want to call up our list of trains just for a moment, just so we can see who we've got. So we've got the Amusing Express Two, which is running the Riptor meter. Uh, the Dragon Rider, of course, which is uh, which is running tube specs. Easy Rules Two, on also running on the Victor. Fast and Furious Two on the Slow Charge. Oh, and Wolfman, of course, who is our uh, our original tram. Who currently seems to be, you know, not the busiest tram in the world. A handsome-looking vehicle, snaking its way around Bronze Grove. That's fun. Okay, cool. Right, what should we do? So, as mentioned, we're making money now, uh, which means that we can we can do more or less anything we like. Now, I was tempted to look at another potential goods route, and there's a there's a couple of a couple of thoughts that have occurred to me in the past, and those thoughts largely revolve around: Are those goods being used already? Uh, my understanding is that if a town is not currently getting goods, that's a uh, that's a solid uh, objective to to build for in order to uh, because it, it's not having its demand fulfilled at all. Uh, so, if we look at our friend Woking here, that is already equipped in many ways, it's not receiving any goods. Uh, you know, if you look at the places that are receiving goods. They've got this endless flow going on here. Um, Woking, not receiving any. And here's a an oil refinery. I know, I'm tempted to go back to oil refinery action. And here's the oil well. Straightforward cut across to service that. And then a route into the, uh, the, the station area. I probably have to put up a, um, uh, a, goods, a goods line bespoke for that. Uh, what do you say? We've got the money. We can afford to throw it away. Well, we, I mean, you know, that kind of attitude is what gets me into trouble. But, uh, but we can afford to throw it away. 
Yeah, I mean, we could do it on a... No, I think... Uh, mm. Choices, choices. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's slow the game back down again and, uh, and have a look at this. Uh, the sensible thing to do might be to, uh, uh, to, to, to go with trucks doing this to start with uh, to avoid burning through yet more money. But when have I ever done the sensible thing as my, as my first option? Now, we're going to want a, uh, a separate goods station. Let's max length it. Now, we can do that, that attractive goods station look that, uh, that I've done elsewhere. Where we back the... See why it doesn't want to align in the same way is baffling to me. Look at that. I mean, that's not attractive. And yeah, maybe I've got a bit of a fixation with things being attractive, but that's by the by. Uh, right, let's no, let's go medium here. Oh, you get used to being able to build roads in straight lines. There's our, our oil refinery, so if we were to stick a station on there uh, that, would, that would look after that. Why are you not wishing to snap? There you go, that's what I want from you. It's all about where the, where the smartest location is. Again, it's going to be somewhat curvy. think the, the smart money. I'm not going to need it to come out the other end. That's the good news. So I think that's the smart place to go. It might be slightly overkill as far as uh, uh, as far as the length of the station is concerned, but we'll see. I, you never know. I, this might be completely different to the uh, to the other goods line that we're running in that uh, it actually... Um, Uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, it might be different to the other goods line in that it actually drives so much demand that uh, that we, we are going to need full goods trains. Wouldn't that be fun? Is that okay? Are we happy with that? Yeah, I mean, that's not too, too much groundwork going on. And then we're going to want another station at the other end to pick up goods. But this one's also going to take the oil in. So I think... Give me, give me some options here. That's probably the best route. That doesn't make it easy to build to, but okay, let's have a look. Construction simply not possible. Okay, well let's uh, let's go round in a corner and then see if you think it's still impossible. All right, you want to build a whacking great bit of bridge there, but well, I'm going to need you to split into two lines, so uh, there we go, how do you feel about that? As long as we don't need to with me, do this, that's good, okay, cool, stop it. Uh, yes, apologies for the uh, the, the uh, continual mouse clicking uh, misfires going on today. Uh, I've just come out of playing A Train, and all of the buttons are different. Um, so it takes a it takes a couple of uh, couple of minutes to, to refamiliarise myself with which way I should be pressing. Uh, right. Okay. So that's goods. Goods pick up. Goods drop off. All being well, that makes us uh, healthy amounts of money. And then we want oil pick up going to come out off this branch over here. Okay, so give me stations again. Alright, if we build this road out just a little bit more. What sort of road are you? That's highway, isn't it? 
country country highway or highway type stuff. Not tram, no. Pressing, pressing the wrong button to, button to cancel what I'm trying to do. Uh, there we go. Right. Uh, let's see if we can get a station on there now. There we go. That's nice. There we go. That's about right, I think. Uh, I do want to make sure that's in the right facing. Okay, I think we're going to be building a tunnel here. Okay. Easy now, Tiger. Easy. Alright, uh, let's cancel that. Let's see if we take it the direct route. What does it feel? Also, be aware we're going to want to come out of here. And you've put the station in the way. That's helpful of you. Well done. That's the smartest thing I've seen anyone do in, in years. What were you thinking? Can we steer out? Well, we'll have to bulldoze this bit of road. Anyway, uh, let's look at this tunnel. Yeah, okay, that's not too expensive. <laughs> no, idiot. Uh, okay, right. Do we move the station? Or do we uh, let's let's run a piece of test track from here? Uh, you don't get too comfortable in that house of yours, my friend. See, that's I mean that's realistically the only way we can go. I mean, when we get to this section of track here, we can go under it, we can go over it, that's fine. But there is not the room to do that here. Uh, let's uh, put this guy out of uh, out of home. Right, here we go. It's again, with the wrong buttons. It's because it, in uh, in A train you uh, you you push the button in uh, in order to move the camera around. So it's left button, and then this left button does all the activity, which is you know it's <laughs> it's confusing. Um, okay, we're going to move the station, and I'll do that now while you're not watching, uh, so that we can come back and we can pretend that everything's glorious. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, next time around, more progress and faster and more of it. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. That would be grand. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.